What's going on guys, today we're back with a new video. I have a couple of tips and tricks that will help some of the newer players or the players who have never played Namask before try and survive a little bit longer. We all know that Namask is a very very harsh environment and as it says on the Namask website, Namask wants to kill you and it will try it every chance it gets. So here's a couple of little tips to hopefully make you survive a bit longer and some you may know, some you mightn't have known before. So let's just jump straight into it. <laughs> Apartment buildings on the Malsk actually do spawn loot. They spawn plenty of loot as well. So if you're on a server, depending if the server is low pop or high pop, it is always a good chance, no matter what, to go and search the apartment buildings in the towns. They spawn food, clothing, and even weapons on the roof like shotguns and bolt action rifles. Also, the new custom apartment buildings in the Malsk and pretty much every custom building in the Malsk so spawns loot as well. So it's best to just check pretty much every building as pretty much every building on the Malsk spawns loot. <laughs> On this map does freeze so when you find can of peaches or a drink or whatever it's more than likely going to be frozen the best way to defrost this food is to light a fire and put the food within two meters of that fire to defrost it now if you're dying of hunger and you need that food instantly you can put the food in the fire's vicinity and it will pretty much instantly defrost it the only thing is it will damage the food so just keep that in mind don't forget to check zombies for food when you're killing them or ammo as well they do tend to spawn with a bit of both also for zombies there is a lot more zombies on the mask than Cherneris or Livonia zombies have probably doubled with the amount that spawn around the place and they can be quite vicious as well so be wary of that if you go into a town there will be a ton of zombies around if you're freezing cold and don't know where to light a fire in all the new custom buildings in the towns and new sheds and stuff that have been added in around the map there are these new custom fireplaces pretty much nearly every building on the map you can go to them and you can light a fire inside of them while you're at this fire as well make sure to sit there and sit close enough to it until you see the little plus sign next to your heat icon this will even know that you are fully heated and the plus sign means that you will have a three minute buffer of heat so you'll be able to you know adventure for longer without getting cold straight away as well heat pack are also very good to find around the place as well so if you see them on the ground be sure to pick them up they are a lifesaver if you hear random rumbling in the sky it is more than likely an evr storm that is about to hit the best way to try and survive an evr storm as best as possible is to get into a building and just go prone and hide in the building until the storm is over i think no matter what it is going to knock you out and you're probably going to lose some health if you're full health or about half health you should be pretty good but if you're anything quite low health red health anything like that it could be very very risky for you if you're outside as well you're probably going to lose more health than if you were inside so just make sure you try and run for a building If you're freezing cold and you don't have any equipment around just to be able to make a fire at all, just staying indoors will also keep you warm as well, your temperature will go up. Same as being in woodland as well, it'll also keep your temperature a bit warmer as well because there's less of a breeze blown through the forest. Make sure your clothing is up to a worn state or pristine. There's plenty of sewing kits and leather sewing kits around on the mask, so make sure to keep preparing your clothes constantly to keep you warm. The more damaged your clothes become, the less warm you're going to be. Don't forget as well, if it is snowing, snowing in the mask is technically rain and your clothing will get wet and your clothing can actually freeze. So make sure to wring them out every once in a while, especially if it's raining. And if you're sitting next to a fire as well, you can actually take your clothes off you and place them in front of the fire and they will dry up pretty fast as well you can also swim in the namask water it won't kill you straight away or it won't you know freeze you to death straight away as well so if you're wanting to swim to an island or you need to go first you shouldn't have a problem snowballs have the possibility to knock someone out as well you can craft snowballs when you're on top of snowy hills or on the snow islands or whatever so if you hit a good shot with a snowball there is a possibility it can actually knock someone out which is good good to know You can.
can drink or eat the snow, but it tends to make you sick, so it's probably best off not doing it unless you're absolutely really desperate. It is also a good thing to keep moving while in the mask and not standing still for too long as well. You don't want to end up getting frostbite, because if you're frostbite, then you're pretty much screwed and you probably will die. So if you're staying still, don't stay still for too long. Don't tab out either. You will probably come back to you are dead sign. Best to just keep running around as much as you can to keep the heat in your body. So as well, on the mask, helicopter crashes are static. They don't actually move around the map as well. So wherever they are in the world is where they're going to be i've found a few of them around uh, there is also a crashed ac-130 that actually does spawn it as well so it looks like they've just changed the heli crash for an ac-130 as well which is pretty cool And that is pretty much it for this video. These were just some very basic tips and tricks for the new players out there that are trying to play in the mask and constantly dying over and over again. I hope these help you in some way, shape or form, and give you a bit of help along the way on your journey of entering the mask. If anybody out there has any other tips they'd like to share, be sure to leave us know in the comment section down below. But otherwise than that, I shall catch you guys in the next video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe, and I shall catch you guys in the next one. So, peace out for now. Uh -huh.